and still no sign of any pygmy geckos. Oh, hello. <laughs> A pygmy gecko. And it looks like he's doing okay. Oh, that's a relief. Saying that, it is dry. Ah, I spoke too soon. Well, at least I get to find out how he deals with flood water. Huh? Where's he gone? There he is. This place is going to be flooded soon. There you are. How are you coping in all this rain? I'm surprised I've managed to stay this dry. Great. Oh, how strange. It looks like the rain's just bouncing off him. I wonder if my gizmo can tell me what's going on. Activate scanner. Ah, oh, it says here that the gecko's skin is hydrophobic, which means it's waterproof. Oh, how cool is that? Whoa. No, not that way, little buddy. You've gone straight into the flood water. Don't worry, I'm coming to rescue you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh? He's floating. His skin must be so waterproof and he's so light that he can just stand on the surface of the water. So that's how pygmy geckos survive the floods. I can't wait to tell Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, the Amazon dome is about to flood. How can we help the pygmy geckos? Don't worry. They can help themselves. But how? They have special waterproof skin which protects them from the rain. And they're so light, they can float on water. So they'll be absolutely fine when the Amazon don't flood. That's great news, Andy. But you better hurry back. Sending the safari mobile to your coordinates. Thanks, Jen. Oh. See you later, Piggy Gecko. Thanks for your help. Back to normal size.